<laughs> Welkom Smitler. Welkom. Welkom. We're here back again after yes. uh, six months, five months it is after the last tournament. Yeah, at least three months. At least, uh, it was in February, if you remember correctly. Not sure. But yeah, uh, we are back here again. Uh, the Cast the Dream Team. The Cast the Dream Team. With the with podcast. The, with the yeah. podcast, yeah. With the podcast for uh, the upcoming May tournament. A little bit delayed uh, because of uh, time schedule scheduling. Uh, so we couldn't do it in the weekend. We're sorry for that. But uh, at least we're here. So uh, yeah. for today, we have a little bit of a recap of uh, last tournament. We have a special guest that is uh, going to talk to us. And like Retta Vatra already tried to do in chat... Yes, you'll hear today as well who you're playing uh, next weekend against. So, um, easy as that. Anything to add there, Schmidtler? Yeah, at the end uh, of the uh, the podcast today, we uh, draw the teams for the upcoming uh, <clears throat> cup. And yeah, in between, we will look a little bit at scenes from the last from the last cup and talk a little about this. Uh, we all talk about the maps uh, for the next cup too and then yeah yeah that's basically all. that's it we needed to fill it in but um like we said already uh, we played uh last cup as well or we played uh, we streamed last cup as well we did a podcast yes. as well that was pretty nice um so um to remind everybody how last cup was played uh, we've got a little bit of the time uh, or of the last cup stable on it uh, don't shoot me. I don't have an animation for this. So uh, here we go. Oh, oh, pop up. That was the wrong one. <laughs> uh, where is it? We there will it get is. to yeah, this. Yeah, there it is. Find it. Be with us. Be, be with us. <laughs> okay. There we go. Yep. That's so, basically the final standing. Um, last year, <laughs> Fantastic War won. Um, you can see them uh, going in the upper bracket uh, on top and uh, at the end they played against TTT where they also won 5-0. Um, did we expect that, Schmidtler? Did we expect uh, them to win? No, to be honest, uh, we we didn't. We know that uh, the TTT guys and girls uh, are pretty... Uh, they are train, tr training... Um, they are investing much time in training and we know TTT the TTT uh, the technical training team won that's basically the uh, the pro team played really well in the uh, cups so we expected them to transfer some of the skills to the technical training too but uh, yeah they marched through the tournament a little bit uh, but then in the final at Fantastic War they got drowned by them so yeah I yeah, I didn't expect that, uh, but yeah. It's the same thing, like um, TTT was trained by TTT and Fantastic War was trained by uh, SOF. Uh, we mentioned it in the last stream as well. Uh, it's now way less. We don't have really teams that we are training. All the teams are for themselves, basically. Um, did we expect Fantastic War to win? No, to be honest, not. Um, I th we thought that tactical training team would grab it, but you can see the scores. It's unbelievable that they basically uh, uh, got it. But it's really nice from them. Um, besides that, any on the dock? Do you think there's any any team that deserved the win? I think the uh, the the A and B uh, did uh, did a pretty well well tournament uh, for uh, at the the last cup and uh yeah we know the the navy esp seals we know from an other pro circle cup i think um and yeah they yeah. did well oh, they did they did better in this cup than uh in the pro circuit okay yeah so i had the same feeling for type b uh for type b was one of the underdogs and bia as well um yeah. I think four type B played two times against A and B. What is uh, really surprising, though, uh, shouldn't happen, but it did. Um, but uh, I think uh, at the end, four type B and A and B were pretty decent against each other. And let's hope that uh, this tournament is going to be the same way uh, that we have a lot of nice matches. Um, 
of course we try to stream as much as possible but uh, tonight after the draw we will see who we the english team are going to stream and who the rest is going to stream yeah easy is that they've uh, fant that. fantastic war basically plowed through the field killing everybody in their spat and um um we've got a special guest as well and especially my cat is running in what i already thought <laughs> he's in that corner and now i need to stand up basically to let her mm. out <laughs> special guest special, special guest nick's cat yeah, Nick's cat, yeah. <laughs> but uh, our special guest uh, for tonight is uh, uh non art and uh, non art is uh, one of the uh, team captains of uh, fantastic war and while i'm introducing non art i uh, again pop up the wrong fucking shit uh we're going to see his stats welcome non art welcome, welcome uh, Nick and <laughs> how are you feeling i'm good feeling today yeah uh, okay very good. a little bit nervous uh, yes okay <laughs> it doesn't really matter but uh no no thanks for coming that's for sure um i've popped your stats basically on the screen now so everybody can see uh, your fantastic war stats um a kill death of 0 0.8 and still you win the tournament. How do you do that? I'm not really good in PvP. In the game. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, I am good in team playing PvP game. Okay. And uh, that's that, maybe. Okay, okay, okay. No, that doesn't matter. You don't have to need, yeah. uh, have to have some po positive kill death basically uh, to, to get uh, basically the medals. None art shows you that. <laughs> So um, we prepared some questions for you, and um, uh, yeah, if you like to answer them, please. So, um, did you uh, ever participate in other PvP events or TV team games like this, like ESM tournament? Is there? Never, never, never. I never playing uh, PvP uh, thing like that. Uh, I'm just uh, casually playing uh, Counter Strike. Uh, with uh, some mate and uh, that just that never uh, in a big tournament uh, with a uh, lot of organization lot of team and a uh, lot of stress <laughs> <laughs> a lot of stress okay 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 good good foresight though uh, okay since do you you didn't attended any pvp games like this uh, in ama 3 how do you prepare and train for for this cup uh, at the start, we we train with the, the team. In uh, in the team, uh, we selection a lot of players and uh, we play uh, PvP. But uh, that's not uh, really good because uh, the the team was uh, very uh, bad. And uh, we train uh, with the soft after one uh, one time for per week and uh, it's very hard against the surf at the start and uh, we have a lot of uh, complaining about the team uh, well, is that too hard we never going to make and uh, we've uh, each week each week and uh, we we make we make and uh, we won uh, never against the surf uh, <laughs> my thing. And, okay but we make two two time point against the soft and uh, this time when we put the t the, the flag uh, against the flag soft we think uh, that's uh, a good uh, point for us because uh, make uh, a flag against the soft is very hard and uh, after uh, we uh, start uh, to uh, make a plan to the tactic and uh, we took screenshot of the map and we draw on the map, we put uh, some pose and uh, we we place everybody on the map and we train all the map, the final to okay. the first map. So, yeah, I, of course, can verify this, <laughs> that he trained really <laughs> hard and I've seen, we, we gave them tips, we gave them things and we are already happy to give tips as well, like any team that comes up to us now, you're welcome to get any tips and today we will also talk a little bit more about that um but like you said you played with us um you knew that uh we hated ttt basically <laughs> uh, yes. so how did you feel when you were in the finals against ttt like what was the before you start what was that feeling 
when uh, we saw we we're going to final against TTT, it's uh, the panic in the team. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> literally, we oh TTT no no, and uh, in the team we prepare for us for that, and uh, the big challenge is to beat the TTT. Uh, we don't know if uh, the TTT is really good uh, because uh, the results are uh, not really uh, like us uh, for the previous match. And uh, when uh, we are in the final, uh, it's uh, the panic. Uh, uh, are you going to win? Uh, and uh, the TTT was uh, really uh, a mind in my man. Uh, TTT is not embeddable. Is uh, <laughs> okay. Is, yeah, that's true. That's true. We okay. cannot make against TTT, but uh, just really before the the match, one minute, uh, everyone launch a call. Don't talk, and everyone is talking uh, to. Uh, everyone is uh, stressing, and uh, uh, everyone make a joke, and uh, I was drinking in the the moment and all the water come to my keyboard my <laughs> screen <laughs> one minute before the launch of the final and i was okay, cool. uh, literally panicking my keyboard no 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 and, <laughs> and it's lunch and i i was in the match i uh, focusing in the match and uh, it was <laughs> really hard uh, the first match because a uh, lot of water <laughs> <laughs> on the keyboard and uh, be, but we still focusing all the call were good uh, everyone uh, give uh, the, the most of uh, these skills and uh, we make it uh, not easy but uh, we make it okay so uh, did you expect to win the tournament or or was what your uh, your expectation in the participation of the of the cup at the start of flash ranger uh, come uh, to us uh, to invite and uh, all, all uh, everyone yes yes we are going to the esm tournament uh, we are going to win uh, we are just here for that okay. but uh, in reality uh, <laughs> we don't expect to win <laughs> so, okay. it so it was fun to participate basically yes uh... very fun yeah, okay. So, from you said it as well, you were a little bit scared about TTT, but that's basically also because of uh, uh, the, 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 the things that you've heard from other teams, basically. But was it the hardest match you played, you think, in the tournament? Or was there another match with another uh, uh, contester that did you think that was harder, basically? Uh for me, my uh, hardest match is uh, against uh, Brothers in Arms because uh, first match uh, and uh, Brothers in Arms uh, play very aggressively and uh, at the start uh, we are all uh, panicking because uh, the defense break and uh, everyone uh, everywhere uh, and uh, we in the start of the match, we reorganize all the strategy and uh, it's work little, but uh, after the second match is uh, better because uh, it's uh, blue side and uh, blue side. Uh, I don't remember the map, but uh, it's better than the, the red side. And the first match was really uh, stressful but because it's a fair match, first match and uh, you don't know if uh, you are really good in uh, CTF because uh, we don't really play against a uh, team uh, with uh, the skill of uh, the power and uh, it's very uh, hard to describe the, the, the moment of the first match. It's uh, really panicking. <laughs> no, yeah, I can understand that. We can understand that. Yeah, it, I think everybody can share that. That you never know how good you are or starting in the tournament. Of course, you think like, oh, we trained well, but fine. Yeah. Then uh, to 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 wrap this up, this uh, little interview, um, you talked about preparations. Um, do you have any tips 
or tricks uh, von for, for new teams that fighting in the upcoming tournament? The first tip, uh, train. Train. Yes. Train, okay. We, <laughs> train. we need to train, but not train uh, against... Play SOF uh, then, basically. Uh, yes, play against <laughs> SOF. It's the best training you can have in, uh, in the tournament. Or uh, against TTT, I don't know. But uh, playing and train against pro team. Because uh, you, you... Each match, you going to make uh, the team better and uh, you... You learn a lot of uh, tricks and things you don't really know in the start. And uh, more more you're playing, more you're going to be great uh, in each map, each side, each uh, weapon. Uh, and uh, the, the, the biggest thing say, is uh, to examine all the map and all the pose and uh, really make a good strategy in plant before the... Uh, the match, each one where is going to be, which line, uh, which are the call to to push, uh, to defend, and uh, like that. Okay, cool. Thanks uh, for the information for the new teams in the upcoming tournament. So yeah, I think. I think yeah. That was that I was all, Nick. We that was all. <laughs> yep. Uh, Nanart, <laughs> at least uh, I want to thank you for coming and. Uh, yeah. For uh, well, he was hesitating a little bit by his friends, but uh, everybody loved your friends' accent in the chat. So let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's call it a good uh, good call. Um, Any last things to say from you, Nanat? Yeah. Now you have the now the you have the floor. You have the opportunity. Uh, thanks uh, to the SM staff for inviting. Thanks to the SOF for the training and. Uh, Farewell first. Farewell. Okay, thanks. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Nanart. Thanks, Nanart. I'm really happy to have you uh, here. <clears throat> okay, that was Nanart. Yeah, Fun that fantastic was Nanart. Um, so basically, I, I want to, to, to clarify something. Uh, of course, we have this Masters Cup now, and uh, Nanart with Fantastic War was uh, one of the uh, winners of the Master Cup. And what is the rule is that if you win the Master's Cup, you go to Pro Circuit. Don't have a dia for this, don't have anything for this. So I can show you that now, but you will see that on the Esports Master site. Um, so basically you win and you're, you cannot participate in the Master's Cup anymore. You need to participate in the Pro Circuit. And in the Pro Circuit, we know there's SOF. You've heard them coming past here. You uh, have TTT, that's also a really fair team, but there's one team not mentioned, and he's also in his chat, it's uh, 88 Lord from the Spain. Um, been here since the beginning, are really good, are really competitive, and that, that are just some teams that are playing in the pro circuit. Um, but it doubles your chance to win a new medal. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> so... Okay. Uh, yeah, fine with that. Um, I wanted to do that as a sidetrack thing. Um, we've checked some uh, some recaps and we found some interesting uh, some interesting uh, what is it uh, clips that we want to show off. Um, yeah. The interesting clips uh, we we need to oh and <laughs> we need to uh, switch to another scene there, but that doesn't really matter. Um, so we found a total of, I think, five clips that uh, we want to talk about. Uh, one is from TTT versus... Oh no, was it? What was your clip that you showed us or that you wanted to show? Mine was uh, the guys from I, uh, from A and B versus the fourth IB from... Okay. Uh, uh, okay. I've got one from Fantastic War against TTT and we've got some uh, some smaller uh, some smaller uh, clips that we wanted to show you. So uh, here we go, ESM transmission. Oh, and then I need to click that. So uh, I think everybody sh should have seen this. Uh, it has uh, been on the Discord uh, for a long time. Maybe it uh, uh, didn't uh, cross your mind uh, or didn't see it. I need to slow it down a little bit. But this is, uh, oh, I need to say it first. This is uh, MVP L1. This is L1. L1 is uh, one of the fantastic war players. And uh, he surprised us here with an um, 
MK2 100 run towards the flag, capping it, defending it, and bringing it back. And um, yeah, it this 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 kinds of actions will basically give you the MVP award. He didn't win it. I need to say that he didn't win it. But this kinds of if you put the then this kinds of actions, then uh, you get it. I have no sound with it. Uh, here he goes, kills one. I don't have it uh, on camera. You see the second one coming in. He turns around, kills the second one, grabs the flag, sees the other one. I need to say this. He probably sees the other one coming there. And you see that he's already looking that way. So the only thing he has to do is either wait here or he's running further. And this is also something surprising. He peeks the corner. He peeks the fucking corner. And he probably pre-fires as well. But yeah, this guy is walking. Walking party always loses in this game. Walking party just always loses. It's easy as that. <laughs> yeah. Shoots him. Basically runs back and you can hear us yelling. Oh wow, MVP, Ward, MVP. He has a he has to run back basically free. Uh, there's nobody in this between, but he killed I think four guys, four or five guys at the flag. And now he's getting saved by his team, what is really, really well done by them. Easy mm -hmm. as that. Yeah. Um I'm transitioning back. Ooh. I don't know why I did that. Nah, well, here's an unarched sc score again. Because I fucked something up. <laughs> oh, there we go. Sorry for that. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Fantastic War had uh, some nice moves, basically. We didn't want yeah. to... Uh, we didn't want to do every move. We just wanted some clips. Um, so... Uh, this is one i think this is one of fantastic war's best like single player move and if you do single player moves like this uh you're amazing um yeah we did basically turns on uh searching things so i'm i'm giving this one to smittler while i'm oh, yeah. uh while i'm switching back to the uh to the uh to the thing so uh smittler go take the floor yeah uh thank you nick uh, just uh, have to prepare uh the viewers what they're about to see in the next about 100 seconds. You see, um, you will see an, um, an push or in pressure movement on the left side. Uh, you can see, do you see the, yeah, you see the map. You see in pressure move on the left side from the, uh, from the, the AMB guys against the fourth IB infantry brigade. So basically they put up the pressure on the left side. I will commentating it, uh, basically on the move um and uh that uh brings uh, brings uh, the opportunity for shiro you see uh him in the middle right, right now to uh coming up the now open flank uh kill the flag defender uh and get the flag and basically they um and that's the the meaning of the whole clip the um the move doesn't end it when they get when they get the uh, when they get the uh, the flag. The flag need, needs to be brought back to the base, and uh, you have to prepare for things that could be happen on the run back. Now I have to stop talking, uh, and <laughs> we will see we will see the clip. Basically, um, watch uh, uh, take um, take. Uh, take have a look on the left side from the view now. You see uh, already bl blue guys pushing, and they will coming coming more soon. Start that clip. Yeah, I'm started. It. <clears throat> so well, what we are seeing is blue is taking up the left side from the uh, from the, the flex spawn and and upping up uh, upping up the pressure on the left side with three guys pushing, and Shiro starts to sneaking on the right side through. Waiting, waiting for uh, the pressure. The heat is starting from the left side. Now you see him. The the push. They and you see Shiro coming back. Oh, stop that now. You see all the red players uh, in the middle of the screen, um, uh, orientating now to the oh. basically to the south of Sorry. what we are seeing here. What? I mi I misclicked. Sorry, but you can go on okay, further. Okay, okay, <laughs> Sorry okay. for that. So, uh, 
and Shiro needs uh, um, use the 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 opportunity to push into the flex spot you're seeing on the upper on the upper right uh, here, and the the dedicated flex defender is uh, is panicking because the um, the heat is coming from the south, and yeah, that's basically the thing uh, Shiro waited for and got the flag after he's killing the flag defender. Now the flag defender is killed. The flag is touched and stop right here for the next part. What we are seeing here is basically uh, uh, what I would call the pro gamer move. Um, Shiro with the flag is th the flag carrier right now and there are two more um, blues on uh, on the side supporting. One of the blue guys, das Metallauge, um, is going uh, through the spawn of the the red guys and trying to ambush them and slow them down. Um, the other the other blue guy named Nameless uh, is supporting the flag carrier if something will happen. Um, what they know we didn't see that here, but they know one member of the the enemy team uh, is basically in the backyard of A and B, so they know something can uh, something could be happen. So better double up the flag carrier. Play it now. You will see. You will see basically what will happen. <coughs> you see up there the blue guy, that metal auge will slow down. The attacking, uh, the the rushing defenders. Yeah, there, there you will see in the house on the on the right side. There's, I think, Ethan is his name. Kill yeah. Shiro. The flag, uh, the flag carrier. Flag bearer is down. Um, and then, but they know this. They called the flags. Uh, they called the the shooter out. Yeah, we we'll play it here. You see, ah, uh, the flag is holded. Nameless is supporting, 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 supporting. Everybody is shooting. There you, the, the, there you see. They called for backup because Ethan showed his position. They called for backup. I think it's Fire Tim. Correct. I can't see the name. Yeah, yeah. No, it's Fire um, Tim. It's Fire Tim. Uh, he is uh, tasked to to flush out the defender. Uh, uh, to making uh, to make the the route safe oh, start again see flash me out what we're seeing here is uh, on the upper left side of the corner you say you still see that metal auge um holding off they that they rushing flag defenders one defender stark it's stark i think um uh is through yep. on uh, uh, and is on the hand of the flag Ethan. But they, uh, but they knew this. You see, on the left side is Alf. Alf supporting crossfire, uh, supporting the crossfire oh, on the flag. I didn't even yeah. see him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nameless is killed from Stark. Stark thinking, "Oh, Ray, it's my turn now to bring back the flag." But there's Alf. Alf bringing back, uh, bringing down Stark. And now what we're seeing here is Alf. Doesn't move for the flag. Alpha's waiting, holding the corner, doesn't get to the flag. Calls for backup, calls for backup. Can you then pause it for a second, really quickly? Yeah, sure. Because yeah, sure. I wanted to do like in between here as well. Um, there is new teams. Um, of course, there's teams that played more CTF, there's more teams. And uh, I'm happy that you find this clip basically because uh, besides. It didn't return the flag, and Alf, what you already said, Alf is doing a great job here, basically, by not getting it. The flag will stay on his position for one minute, I think. Niklas, anybody? Uh, uh, we're going to call one minute. If I one minute, yeah. I'm if I'm wrong, fuck that shit. Oh, I can say that. Uh, bleep that shit. Um, <laughs> So it's bleep it again. So yeah, bleep it again. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas needs to bleep it. But uh, uh, let's uh, let's let's keep it to one minute. I just wanted to point that out. Like the flag, as uh, the flag carrier isn't uh, is the killed. It di doesn't return straight away. It stays yeah. on that position for one minute. That's something I wanted to go go for you again. Yeah, and uh, yeah, what I'm saying 
10 seconds to go. Alf is not rushing for the flag because he has the overboard of the flag. They called for backup. They called for for, for fire Tim. Uh, but what we didn't see is uh, the enemy Ethan is flushed out by fire Tim. Then fire Tim gets the flag. Alf holding the corner, holding the corner if something has happened. And you see, I will stop here again. You see, there's 20 seconds uh, for for 20 seconds or 25 seconds. No red player in the vicinity of the flag. No. There no. is Larsen on the left side, far away from the flag. But uh, uh, the delaying tactics from uh, from from AMB worked. They have enough time bringing the uh, one more flag carrier, get I the flag. I wanted to point that out as well. That nameless guy, while Alf is dying, that nameless guy killed a shit ton of them back there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And 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 now you see they are supporting supporting uh, uh, forces for AMB. Shiro and Nameless just spraying in the general direction um, of the of the things, and we see. The f uh, from the flag. Oh, oh. I failed. Oh. <laughs> I he failed. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I failed horribly. But yeah, from basically from the flag, uh, from the uh, flag touch to the flag capture, uh, you have to go oh. more more that uh, getting the flag and run. So I want to. We can see it like for for once uh, the whole time to get things. Uh, yeah, can I think. We have the time, Nick. Nick, we can watch it again in in normal speed now. Um, you see Shiro on the upper side now, and now He's the situation. Already in the building, yeah. In, yeah. Now the situation starts to evolve. On the left side, the pressure is up. Shiro getting... has been seen, but on the left side flank, it's completely yeah. open. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the weird thing. Shiro has been seen from the def from the flag defender, but. The yeah. panic reaction from from the fourth IB guys to the pressure from the high ground from the left makes them forget everything. Yep, I agree. They open the flank. They open the flank, and now we see on the right corner you see Shiro waiting for the moment. The flag defenders running, and there's Shiro coming back yep. from the back, killing basically everything together with the both attacker uh, and one one blue. Going up to the spawn and nameless supporting the. It was uh, the metal, by the way, that killed yeah, yeah, like yeah. all the guys here. That's like a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Get shot that, by oh, Eason. Yeah. Get shot by Eason, but getting Suppressed. getting called out. And you see in the right corner there is Fire Tim ready to avenge his fallen comrade. Oh, Stark, Stark. Stark thinking, oh yes, the flag is mine, the flag is mine, it said. Still, the metal is going, like, he tra he killed one and he traded two. Like, you're, the, we're completely yeah. on Stark. Stark getting killed by Alf now, but that metal is still there, killing people. <laughs> still there, yeah. <laughs> well played by him, though. Yeah, then uh, you see, fire that's team. basically, yeah, that's yeah. basically fire to get the flag. Fire Alf team. is still waiting, still waiting, holds the corner. He gets killed by Larsen. Uh, but not storming through to I'm, the flag. Is, I'm uh, pausing it for a second because yeah. there's only one thing that I would have done differently here. Okay. Pure Tim is indeed coming back, but why is Alf moving his position? Why? Um, the adrenaline starts to pump. Everybody needs to run back to support. Maybe he uh, just uh, uh, do the metal auger part. Uh, and storming into the attacking defenders. Um, okay. But yeah. Okay. Well, I criticize him for uh, for being uh, not sitting still there. I would have kept that corner like mm. hard, but that doesn't matter. Everybody has his own play style. Eh? Let me put it yeah. that way. We then go we, further. Uh, he gets killed. Just yeah. proving my point. <laughs> but their support, their support from Shiro and Nameless, they're basically spamming at the defenders uh, at the attacking for yeah. the B. And yeah, that's the point. That's my clip. Thanks okay. for, for listening to my TED Talk. To your TED Talk. Uh, I'm going to transition back uh, because that's something I wanted to say as well. Um, what I did see last tournament, basically, is um, 
there's a lot of MailSim players as well. And um, uh, these MailSim uh, guys, of course, have a different feeling of playing things. And what I've seen is like a lot of supporting fire. There's a, I've seen a lot of positions um, basically that are, that are somewhere and they're just firing that way. They're just firing the rough direction where everybody is basically. Um, yeah. I really find it funny, funny, funny to see because uh, I, I didn't, we didn't do that as in the pro circuit. I've never seen anybody do it, and I think this is the first Masters Cup that I've seen actively pinning down people by just shooting random directions. What can help? So yeah, yeah, keep up the nice work, everybody. Like do all the new tricks. Um, yeah, well, in the background, uh, this is going to be the next one is going to be a clip. But um, anyway, I'm going to introduce him because he, it's in uh, his clip anyway. Um, we don't do this alone. It's me. It's Smitler. But in the background, we have Nicholas. Uh, Nicholas is also uh, one of our uh, technical guys, basically, that is helping me with uh, um, the uh, the setup for the stream and uh, in the background, all these kinds of things. That's why I can now transition back to the uh to the video and there is a new video there wow welcome nicholas <laughs> yeah hi i'm the uh special guest i think the, the, the secret guest let's yeah. call it secret guest you have <laughs> the special get the cat we had nanart and then we have you basically yes <laughs> <laughs> um i just wanted to ask you why did you pick up this clip basically um i picked this clip because as you can see it's um tactical training team two versus um fantastic war and I think they used a tactic that got kind of invented by one of our guys, one of SOF guys, Aaron. <laughs> um, it's the... <laughs> yeah, Kerry too knows it. It's the uh, first rocket. Um, most of the teams, or most of the pro teams, use it to engage the enemy pushing in the middle of the map. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just a uh, good way to take out the force of the enemy, um, of the income em en enemies. Um, so... We saw that. We, we <laughs> saw that on the final map, uh, uh, extens uh, extensively used by both teams. Just rockets. Yes. The, yeah. the the um, the spawning routes for the enemy. And yeah, if I, if I remember correctly, both teams got got. Got multiple multi kills with, with that rocket. Thing, you're, so. giving, yeah. you're giving away the clip. I don't want to. Don't <laughs> yeah, see okay. it. Go, go, start, go, 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 go. Um, <laughs> That's the second round of the final. If we started here, we can see Iluan uh, going in the best position for the red side um, kill. But you can see Blue Four is bombing <laughs> the right side and killing two um, of his okay. team members. I don't know which is it. Gator Comedor and uh, killed TR Gator and um, TRS. Yeah. Correct. which is that's like the standard route to get on the right side of the map yes and um iluan counters it with with the rocket and i think he only kills one person but still it's you can take out the the force of the enemy and you can push further then but um since they both got a kill here or two kills um both teams are weakened and uh, they i think they're just going to the 50 line we can see it here let's just Play it. Play it, play it, play it. Yes, so yeah. the left side and the middle is taken by uh, Red 4. They have more people there, but the blue side can push um, on the uh, open side, which mm -hmm. which they opened earlier with the uh, incoming rocket. So uh... I think that's just a... Um, yeah, kind of like it is from the pro circuit. So uh, SOF trained Fantastic War to do it, and the main TTT team trained uh, TTT2 to do it so we just can see it now in the uh master's cap as well I, I i want to get in in this as well i transitioned back by the way um what i find funny is like what you say it's already like it in the in the past it uh um uh, it didn't use this as much basically um uh well in the, i think two years ago or a year ago it started to be the meta to be the meta to shoot that rocket basically and i to, uh, i'm giving giving our player credit but i think the really first guys that are started to using the rocket were ttt tactical trading team 
they were using it not to kill basically but they are using it to uh, uh, demolish buildings and walls to get a better angle on the flag I remember that um, yeah. shoot me if I'm wrong um, I think one of our guys did start with shooting people with it but yes, technical training started, started to use it to the smallest buildings so for everybody not following it um, as you maybe seen the maps or not there is a special crate in um, the special crate is uh, uh, with special weapons and smoke grenades but the smoke grenades eh. if you use the smoke grenades in next uh, in next thing um, you will be d d doing the new meta but uh, there's a rocket launcher in it a sniper rifle the MK2100 so there's three special weapons in it uh, what you can use um, yeah, I have nothing to say about that. It's just three yep. se special weapons, a sniper, and a, a machine gun, and a rocket launcher. And you can use it. it. They will respawn if you die. They will respawn back at the thing. I don't know the exact times for this, so don't shoot me for that. But um, you can use them. You can use them to destroy buildings. You can snipe somebody. Whatever you float your boat, basically. Uh, 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 we've never seen it all. Like I still see things coming past that that are thinking like oh this is really really well played or yeah really well done um yeah. up to the next clip nicholas ready yeah thank you ready. okay well that was nicholas thank you nicholas for being here and we're going back so um i um i chose this one one fantastic war <laughs> against tactical training team um I call this basically, we called it the pain train smidler and then you know where we're oh, going. Yeah. You yeah, know yes. where we're going. Um, and then probably what you're going to see in this clip is like how it needs to be performed. If you get to the enemy flag that you don't, uh, or that you don't stay back and hide. You're, we call it a team effort. Shout out to Carbiner. You're participating in the team effort in the uh, to capture their enemy flag so you don't stay behind you go forward and this is what fantastic war is showing here especially so we start here i think there's even a uh, rocket going off uh, there um on the right hand side and the first thing that we see is yeah you can't see the name but i know this is inari inari the annoying player um already all the way up the flank and he's probably telling his friends hey listen up i'm all the way up there come help me and suddenly you see the whole battlefield uh, move they're all in the 50 line ish now even back at their flag but you see them moving up in a line towards the flag uh don't know who this guy is i think trs we fixed that by the way for the next tournament so we can see all the names thanks to shout out to flash fixing that for us um killing here whole battlefield is open in a still here Everybody reacts. The only one that's not reacting is the Magnolo, Magnolo, Magnolo line. Yeah, that's a correct one. That's Gator. Uh, he's back <laughs> in, he's in the flag defending spot. So, okay, he's a flag defender. He's not responding. Um, TTT feels the heat under their feet. And basically what they do is they know they're coming and they don't know how much, but they know they're coming and they're just waiting. We have Daniel here that sees us here. And pff, I don't, I didn't know who this guy is, but they're defending. Is oh, I uh -oh. think it's Komidoro. If uh -oh. I remember correctly. Uh oh, <laughs> I misclicked. <laughs> Nobody sees it. Just look away for before I'm done. Nobody sees this. Yeah. Okay. I'm back. So um, we have the Chisas, Daniel, and I think Komidoro indeed. But uh, yeah. as you can see. Um, Blue Four, in this case, Fantastic War is all over the all over the place, and they're pushing on the right hand side for us. Um, they're pushing e even as more, so it's hard to get all this in, in the thing. But the only thing I want to say is there's nobody staying behind besides Gator. There's five guys in at their flag. They're all helping to kill them, and um, not camping, not waiting for it they know the because of the communications they know we can go forward and they're doing that i missed my mouse there so we go further in a re-killing daniel in a recall me dodo killed there or daniel is still alive call me dodo is dead in a re changes position and i'm going to stop it here again so at this moment in a re-killed two guys and um basically probably they knew that the chisas was defending because they're not rushing in blindly yet. They're still waiting 
at certain corners. You see them here, you see them there, and you see Nanart, you see Ta Tane, because before I get shut up for that, and L1 on the side. And for some reason, Inari has a nice shot on the Chisas, but okay, here we go. They still know that the flag defender is there, the flag defender just died, and now everybody knows it. And now comes the next thing. One rocket that would have killed four people. <laughs> but um, instead of all going for the flag, what you can do, because you get extra points for your being on the flag and you will be number one on the scoreboard, but it's a team effort. So in this case, Nonart, we could have asked him, by the way, Nonart is capping the flag. And you see that Inari, Tana, TRS and L1 are basically looking one way and that's the way of the enemy uh, spawn and this is what happens when you are giving up your flag position it's one big shootout people die but still kill the th third one kill the fourth one and he basically has a free run back at home this is the start of the pain train they didn't continue uh, they got a little bit cocky I think um, discuss the pain train is really easy uh, you get the enemy flag area and you defend the enemy flag area like it's yours and so that you can get multiple captures and uh um touches, touches the, yeah. from from one attack basically and here again daniel just blindly rushing in tires hurt the jesus killed her um now he's only al alone i think he gets killed by el busto or call me dodo and there we go so the pain train has ended it just shows how well um they took over the enemy flag position and uh what i wanted to tell you as well the most important thing is they knew the chisas was a flag defender and they yeah. just hold it back until she was killed so as long as she's not killed as long as you don't know who the flag defender is or the flag defender is not killed the flag is not safe to grab because you will get only a touch what can you win you the game but you will not bring it back and their presence was so high they should have indeed killed the Jesus. They did that, took the flag and bring it back. So basically a freeze flag score. Easy as that. Then then we, we will see up, uh, uh, if this if this meta with the dedicated with, the, with and dedicated flag defender will stay or uh, it be uh, if we are we are seeing more in flexible style of how many defenders uh, and attackers yep. uh, there will be. Yeah, um, probably Group V and uh, what was the other one we played against? Wolf already Wolf knows. <laughs> yeah, Wolf Corps. Uh, we uh, uh, we did a little bit of uh, training and we used the flying flag defender. But let me tell you that um, you're not going to win if you have a flying flag defender. Yeah, even for our, us, it's hard to play with a flying flag defender against you. Not that you're the worst people, but it's just way harder your flag is open and a flag touch can mean the difference between uh, yeah. a win or a lose so as you can see and i will bring it back up because i don't have a scoreboard at this moment ready but you see the scoreboard on the top um you see uh, flag fs flag scores and ft flag touches basically it's counted first flag touch uh, flag scores then flag touches and after flag touches you get kills deaths and uh, so on so if you're equal in flex scores and flex touches, then um, you basically will get to look at kills. But um, experience says that if you're really up high uh, in the tournament, a flex touch can mean the difference between winning a game or losing a game. Mm -hmm. We were talking about how the game mode works basically uh, in the beginning of the of the tournament we will talk everything through how the game mode works how the points are counted the timings and everything also so stay tuned and don't miss that yeah but i'm ready already like we we can go too there's no mm. no time to break i've got here a next uh, thing um i think you you i think you can follow the esm on twitter oh no uh, does it nicholas, work? Nicholas, nicholas 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 doesn't work <laughs> Website worked, I think. Yeah, yeah website okay. worked. <clears throat> you will be working on that. Um, yeah. Follow follow the ESM on Twitter and you, you will get any information you need. So basically, um, 
we've seen the last cup we've seen clips from the last cup um it is also time to uh talk about the new cup um what is way sooner than i expected so welcome to everybody that's playing in the new cup good luck to you all um Ali easy as that uh the map list everybody was asking about the map list um it is announced and shoot jesus um pardon me i've got it here as well uh the map list is just that uh, i need to pause it so uh, the only thing that i um surprised myself with for this map list is that we're playing sand river in both the lower brackets and the semi-finals but People uh, studied for this, and uh, that's why it's there. So uh, don't get me there. Um, Infestonia, one of my favorite maps. I don't know what Smithler's favorite map is. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know neither. But it's not Sand River. That's I can say. <laughs> um, so I think Infestonia uh, or Neil Churi is maybe maybe one of my uh, one of my best maps. Um, so. The Sand River thingy is, uh, yeah, not of my favorite maps. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Then we have uh, um, Fares. Fares is one of the, I think, one of the Smallest. games. Who, yeah, but didn't we play Fares in last tournament as well? Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't yeah. remember, to be honest. And then we have Neo Chori uh, for the bronze and finals. Uh, all-time all classic. Yeah, all-time classics. It's all, these are old maps. Let me put you that. We had a new... Uh, new uh, map list basically but these are already maps that we uh that we had uh for all the teams all the new the, maps the, uh, but nick the maps got got upgraded to some yeah yeah we've got some bugs degree uh fix some uh some angles uh, and something like that so yeah but uh, that's basically the same layout maps for uh, yeah okay I, I don't know a long time yeah so is there uh wait a second because i need to duly do quick fix something for you smittler before uh before i forget um mm -hmm. i need to do this uh then i need to do this and then i need to do that and then i need to press okay somewhere but it doesn't work there you go there you go smittler yeah uh, i see that yeah okay he saw that he knows exactly what i'm talking about I wanted to say something more, but it completely split my mind. But anyway, Infestonia. Infestonia, one of my favorite maps. I think one of the most played maps as well. Um, here we go. Infestonia in an overview. Uh, I will press uh, yeah. F1 in, uh, in the meanwhile because I don't have to do this. And I don't want to see the scores. And it's still working. So uh, the new versions of the maps you can download on the Esport Masters website. If you go in Twitch down below, there's a download uh, bottom and uh, the download button will bring you to the ESM download page and there are the fear version 3.6.2 maps if I'm correct is that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That, 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 that that basically to to answer the question b b b before it appears that's played with only vanilla uh, armor so no mods or something like that only vanilla um Infestonia, not really mm. an uh, like uh, split it up map. We have an, uh, a, a road coming uh, down the middle. I think some teams played it already. Uh, we have the blue force spawn on the left hand side of my screen, and we have the red force spawn on the red side of the screen. To be honest, yeah. I don't find it an. Uh, there's like not really an, a one sided map. It's a balanced map. Um, yeah. There is some yeah difference in defending what uh, i think is that the uh, red for side the red for flag in this case is a little bit more easy to defend than the blue for side because of mm. uh, multiple buildings uh, while we go yeah. with the blue for side we don't have that's uh more not more that uh yeah yeah but the uh in uh, taking that into account the blue team got if you go to the up uh if you go up now nick no the uh, left, left, left. No, no, no. The uh, the construction site on the hill on the on the right side now. Oh, so the hilltop. Yeah, yeah. here, this so one. That's 
that's basically a good, good, good Overwatch point. You're getting sniped easily uh, or uh, getting suppressed, but uh, it's, uh, it could be a valuable point for uh, for Overwatch and uh, maybe finding the enemy um, main attacking route first. So it is uh, meta to basically block your uh, uh, to block enemies. Uh out of their spawn basically and this is the perfect yeah. uh the perfect thing uh to do that this is one of the positions that uh we scored a point with as well in the pro quit against ttt because i was shitting here just shooting everybody that comes along um yeah one thing i wanted to say that's funny to i've seen other players do it as well but uh we've got the blue flag here it's across this road so that means that as soon as you grab it and you go back on your yeah right hand side for red four you need to cross that road somewhere and you can't go back these little lines because you will die if you go outside of the border you will die if you go back to where you spawn you will lose your flag so don't do that don't do stupid things it will cost you the game but you need to cross this line to bring it back to your flag if we see that you're coming through this the enemy team can tell you like oh he needs to cross the road and just wait here to snipe you down here because you cannot f go further back so you're trapped so tip from nick don't go on the right side go on the left side of the road instantly when you grab the flag pop you go back that's infestonia yep. for you easy as that isn't it it is uh Okay. There, there, there are some good rocket points uh, for not much, uh, since the map is slightly uphill from the from the blue point. But there are some some rocket in, uh, some rocket angles, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there are some. This this is a hard map to rocket their spawn. Basically, it is possible. I'm not saying it's not possible, but it's uh it's it's going to be hard uh you will see the map list again because i forget to do things while doing that basically so uh here's the map list sand river is the map that we're going to do next <laughs> sorry for that remember to fucking do it oh excuse me <laughs> um yeah can we load up the next map nicholas please and then in the meantime we will wait for that um yeah, Infestonia, basically, uh, yeah, thanks, Flash. We we are in summer vibes, basically, today. So, yeah. uh, summer tournaments, summer vibes. Um, Infestonia is one of, the, I think, it's everybody's going to play it, at least for this cup. Uh, that's good, because it's one of the best maps. Um, besides that, uh, oh, wrong slot. Um, it is a decent map. It's... Uh, it's just a balanced map, so you're not really affected by the fact that it's one-sided. Um, so you can, and you will both play anyway on both sides. So uh, uh, yeah, yeah. But you just need to try to get uh, more points. Um, yeah. yeah. On Sand River, we saw some uh, some funny demolition tactics with the rocket, uh, basically uh, nuking down the buildings in front of the both flex spots. Open some interesting angles uh for the uh attackers so yeah okay well here we go for the uh sand river map um this is not the sand river map this is still us uh that was a nice transition nick i'm getting better at this i'm getting tired welcome to sand river um <laughs> mm, but yeah me, maybe both both me and Smittler don't like Sand yeah. River. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, uh, just, uh, just tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> if there's anybody liking Sand River, tell me right now in the chat because then mm -hmm. you, I will invite you for the net po next podcast and you can tell us basically. Um, yeah, Sand River. Uh, distinguished by the river of sand in the middle of the map. Um, what Smittler already said, like there is some points, some buildings that you can destroy, some walls you can destroy to open up the flag or defend the flag easier, basically. Um, yeah, I have not much to tell. It's just, it's just they, okay. But I have okay. Go for I it. I have nothing to tell. They have uh, uh, ju just just hold the camera still for for now, Nick. On the left side, if you uh, banking slightly onto the left side. A little bit more, 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 more. Yep. 
hold. You see the the map gets a little uphill on the left side of the map. That is uh, mostly a, yeah a good a good spot for for flanking um, for the um, for the if we are in this position the defenders are we where the camera stands and the attackers are from from far behind. So basically this is a, a good flanking 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 opportunity for the attacking team. Yep. Because you you uh, can get a really secure maybe the half of the map uh, and in the uh, in the open flank of the defending team. Uh, you see the four white buildings right on your under your cursor right now. Yep. You can push that really easily from uh, from from the uphill, and if you uh, are there, basically you have multiple routes to take for the flag. There's in the uh, yeah, basically there, where there is you show show the mech, uh, the the flag spawn. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, there. So, yeah, that's not much uh, space to overcome, but then yeah. It is That's like thing I what I, I saw. We, me and Nicholas, did a friendly match uh, uh, in this map uh, against Wolf Corpse, if I'm correct. Um, of Gruppe W, Gruppe W, I think. Now, anyway, we played against somebody, um, and we already told everybody like this is a one-sided map. Um, it's you still can score points on both sides, but. To capture this flag is extremely hard, basically. You need to get in a really small compound through either that door, that door, or this gate. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. You can try to, uh, yeah, pro tip, to try to blow up this uh, uh, this wall, wall that you get an extra entrance, because otherwise you're, yeah, you're limited. Um, mm. It's really small, and that's, that's what is making this, like, one-sided. You have some angles that you can defend the flag. You see that this angle is completely blocked off. That's uh, the, 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 map, the map maker did that ex on purpose, of course, to make it a little bit harder. Um, if I go to the uh, red side, um, it's a little bit bigger. It's not way bigger, but it's a little bit bigger. And as soon as you've yeah overcome like this flank, what is completely open towards the flag, you can just spawn cap that flag, basically. So you can use this whole flank to defend that flag. And again, if you open up this little wall or this little wall here, you have way more positions to come through, basically. Um, yeah. What I've seen indeed is that most players or most teams will get through the right hand side of the, uh, of the flag, uh, mm. get this position, turn in, and then one runs through, basically. Easy as that. Yeah. That, that's what I said in the beginning you, you saw uh or at least i saw in the match i i casted and and played is extremely extreme use of the rocket launcher with terraforming against uh um obstacles you can the map to 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 open new routes yeah you can indeed do your uh um you can uh, improve your chances on this map by terraforming the terrain that's basically what we say mm. i think yeah. i think that that's a, a good thing to do um for everybody that didn't play yet uh -na 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 -na. here we got him the special crate kist i don't have it uh i can't open it because i'm in spectator slot eh. but uh if you want special weapons go look in there help it you out okay that's that um uh, yeah we're going back to our uh, stream thingy um next map up is uh, Ferres. We'll, we'll switch to that um and then uh, the old time classic neo chori was it neo chori yeah right the final map yeah neo chori also a really uh, really nice map uh, to play and like i uh, nicholas said uh, indeed uh, he uh, he would uh, uh, we played uh, i've lost my words never mind i lost my words now yeah Oh, no, wait, again. Yeah, Ferres. Ferres, we played that last tournament. So we're going to see that as well. Uh, I think we, you even... Uh, it's the map that you picked your picture on, if I'm correct. It's the map that Carbiner likes. We're going to see it sooner or later. Fast PCs. Mine is faster than Nicholas. 
even while streaming. <laughs> yeah. Ferris, um, all-time classic too, is I would say, a small map in comparison, or at, at least not at, at feel really small. Uh, uh, in the um, they are not 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 much to run for 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 the flex spot, so um, yeah, I liked it more than Sand River, uh, but uh, yeah, it is isn't um, an, an close combat focused map uh, with open sides, but open sides mean getting shot easily from from inside. But yeah, that's uh, some of the more, um, yeah, I think it's even, maybe. It is even. I think it's even. Flash Ranger, I'm assuming I didn't read that as uh, one of the map developers. But uh, Lord will probably answer your uh, your weapon uh, greatly. But I think two minutes. <laughs> uh, back to Ferest. Uh, a really close quarter combat map where you already said uh, I have mixed feelings about this map um, it's uh, really close to the each left other flag, the left flag from your Jung now is yeah. better to attack than the, the, the right the, flag yeah. The, red one, yeah. the right flag has some nice positions you can uh, defend again and again this is a map that I think a lot of ter terraforming will be uh, uh, you can use a lot of terraforming to basically get a better angle on the flag and to mm, yeah. basically capture it. It has a lot of defending buildings though, where you can sit and just wait for the flag, uh, yeah, to the flag attackers to come. Mm. Um, but still, again, like most maps, there's always one flank completely open. In this case, we have two flanks that are widely open so if you run through there or you run through there you can get quite far in the middle it's quite dense again this middle road and uh, i think i can say this again from infrastonia as well if you capture the blue flag in this case uh what well, they are in the bottom of my screen and you need to bring it to the red flag cross um, as early as you can cross as early as you can yeah because you will you will need to cross at one point you need to what to cross at one point but yeah yeah uh, not not much to tell it's it's really this is really going to let show us like how pvp like the clans are basically where i think a little bit less tactic and a little bit more pvp skills come mm, into play yeah. and um yeah whoever wins this map at least they will uh um promote to the next uh to the next mm. map to the finals and the finals are played on uh the um uh, a new Chori map. New Chori, yeah. We switched back. So, um... yeah. You said it right. Uh, I think on this map, the single player skill or the single skill, uh, the the better shooter uh, uh, will have uh, better chances on this map, I, I would say. Not much uh, that you can uh, uh, won or lose on the strategic side. Um, the CQB is basically don't rush on the corner, just wait, just peek. Because if you, you said so in the clip, uh, in, 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 in the beginning, the running player mostly dies. So, uh, don't rush, don't sprint on corners, uh, just keep your corners, uh, turn the volume up so that you, uh, you, since you can hear the, the steps and, um, be yeah. pro, uh, Pro Fortnite player. That's what you need to be, basically. Be, yeah, no, please don't be a pro Fortnite player. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah. Welcome back to Neo Chori, then. It's also a map that we played last tournament. So there's two maps that we mm -hmm. played last tournament. I didn't even notice. Mm -hmm. But um, Neo Chori, the one that um, MVP uh, or the L1 got one of the MVP moves, uh, I think. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yep, it is. Yep, it is. It is. Again, a really close quarter map uh, with one really open flank in it uh, on the, mm. yeah, now on my a, left side. And uh, hilly flank, that's that, that's not flat. Uh, if you go down to, to yeah, earth level, you will see that's uh, not flat. That's uh, just hilly, so you can, uh, yeah, man maneuvering around. and Really uh, OP building here, I'm just going to say it. Nobody's heard that. Okay, so uh, again, uh, we have one flank completely on the right. Uh, that is uh, basically buildings and uh, close quarter combat. And 
uh, yeah, on the left is that, of course. And then we have on the right that open forest. Yeah, you need to defend anyway, both sides. So um, mm, yeah. I'm really curious because it's a mix now. Eh? So I've got Infestonia and Sand River, what are basically maps that both pvp skills of course but also a lot of tactic comes in so whoever wins that map okay fine and then we've got uh Veres, that is really close quarter and really uh how you say that um shooter friendly yeah yeah yeah, yeah well a pvp friendly map is it that the yeah. really pvp skills and then we've got this map what is basically a mix of everything of course you need to be good in pvp here uh, there is some points that you are that if you are walking there and you can see the lanes in here um, that PvP skills comes to matter but as well tactics in this map is needed because this forest line is just yeah getting to, towards yeah. the flag and to that, that well so really well placed the uh, flex basically so this is a mix and that's why I like that it's for the finals of the uh, and the bronze finals of the uh, of the ECM tournament. It's a mix between the PvP skills and between the tactics that they're going to use. So whoever is in the final in the bronze final basically showed that they are capable of winning this medal and MVP award. And yeah, um, yeah they can show us here basically. They can show us here. Mm -hmm. Well, easy is that. Uh, easy said, yeah. That were the maps. I don't have to say uh, any more about the maps, I think. I'm transitioning uh, back um, because there's I, only one reason why are people watching us, you know? Like, that, that, it's not because they like us. It's not because they like ASM. They just want to know who they're playing against, sadly. The highlight. The, <laughs> the highlight. highlight. Starting now. But, uh, yeah, we, we, uh, we didn't... Uh, we didn't we are not stupid so that's why we do it at the last so the pro tip um so um basically lord is going to kill me for this uh i was uh, assuming that i would have a uh, nice drawing bin to put all the teams in and then draw out the number and show you uh but it doesn't it didn't uh i didn't get it so uh we've did it uh, some other way it's just a pen and paper uh, uh thing at the moment a little bit more professional but we needed to go somewhere um i'm going out of the uh out of the um out of the scene um smittler yep. smittler is going to uh show us the uh what is it called the the papers he's did it in i think in a big ammunition case isn't it yeah that's right uh, shown here it's uh, uh nick you can show the discord uh Oh. preview then uh, yeah what we see here is basically uh, my trusted uh, mg3 100 rounds ammunition can uh, and there is every team uh, camera will pick up uh, there is uh, every team written on a small piece of paper there um, let's see yeah it could be seen so uh, basically uh, nick will yes. uh, show the the grid uh, i have the grid I in will, front of us uh, and I will uh, mix up now. I will uh, go in between. You start mixing. Stick, keep mixing, Smittler, because um, yeah. the first team that we draw out will be playing blue in game one. The second team, red in game one. The third team, yeah. blue in game two, and so on. You will see your uh, uh, your thing coming up. Um, so good luck. Let's, uh, yeah, shake that. Shake that like a Hawaiian, uh, Hawaiian good beauty you are. <laughs> Okay, then uh, but let's pull out the first name of the team. Didn't see anything. Put it aside. Then the first name we have the uh, uh, first battalion, Royal Welch. Hope the camera pick it up. Yeah, the camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah do uh, it. Camera. No. I've got do it, it in there. Uh, okay, yeah. Royal Welch. <laughs> I uh, I shorted your name a little bit to fit in the stream, so uh, the Royal Wells. I hope that yeah. you're happy with it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't hate my handwriting. That's basically how it is. Oh, a little bit unorganized, now. but that doesn't matter. No, that's that pretty well. Then we have the Wolf's Wolf's Corps. Wolf's Corps. Wolf's Corps. Yeah, Wolf's Corp. Corps. 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 So uh, for no. game, uh, wait, don't draw anything. So for game one, yeah, yeah. The, I wait, I wait, I wait, the, I wait. The Royal Wells against Wolf Corps, basically. Yeah. Ro anybody, what do you know? What do you know? Uh, I basically know nothing uh, besides uh, 
the Wolf Core is uh, from from Germany, if you remember correctly, and they played uh, some training matches against SOF. That's basically all I know. So um, that's then a uh, shout out to the Royal Wells as well. Um, Wolf Score did train, so start training. <laughs> <laughs> so, start training, yeah. No, but uh, as well, I know Wolfscorps, uh, they've been played again. I think Royal Wells is one of the last teams that uh, came into uh, the, uh, the, uh, the bracket because one of the, uh, um, yeah, one of the teams uh, did forfeit, basically. So uh, welcome to the Royal Wells and good luck to you all. Um, yeah. I wanted to check if they have all the players already in their uh, thing, and they have. So basically, this is a go match. So Wolf Corps against Royal Wells, first game, second game, Smidler. Let's yeah. uh, shake that booty. Come on. Yeah, I shaked it already. Uh -huh. Oh, you shaked it already. So pull out. That's uh, that FK Gaming on that. Uh, FK Gaming. Little uh, piece of paper. Yeah, I saw I it. I've correctly. seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> FK Gaming. FK Gaming. I, the name I can't say basically. <laughs> Bleep the gaming. <laughs> if I'm correct, by the way. I think I did. Yeah, they played. Uh, yeah, shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> yeah, basically names falling out here. The next one is uh, it's Global Gate. It's a Global Gaming. Global Global Gaming Group. What global are... Gaming Group. Global, global. Gaming. Uh, the works out, I think. I, uh, the only thing I know about Global Gaming Group at the moment, and I hope you're here as well, is that they're from Poland. So welcome. Um, FK Gaming, I know. I think they even played earlier in CTF as well, like in certain earlier brackets. But back in the day, we didn't have a lot of teams, so they were up to against pro teams, and they did pretty well. Um, so I think. Uh, they are going to do pretty well in this game as well. Uh, Glam Global, Global Gaming Group, I put you as GGG because <laughs> your name is also really long. So sorry for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have something to, to fight against basically to, for the next uh, season. So uh, good luck to both uh, FK Gaming and Global Gaming Group. So yep. that leaves uh, four guys, if I'm correct. That leave four guys left, that's right. 16th Earl Assault, Fosmi, Jager, Batallion, 49. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and, and that's right. We got the Fallschirmjäger Bataillon. He's already 49. Cool. If you also your name is way too long, so I've shortened it with your tag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then uh, do the mixing part again. My trusty ammunition can. The next is basically the guys from. Poacher Smilsim, basically in yeah, in UK based group two, I think. I remember correctly. Poacher Poacher I just Milsim. It didn't hear a lot of them yet. I know false me Jacob Bottigon basically because yeah, it's Nicholas Side Clan, I think. Um I know that they're going to train, but they know that there are uh better or the better they are okay uh, players so uh, being a up against a uh, milsing group is uh, going to be yeah yeah it's going to be interesting like if poacher milsims uh, is going to be uh, training will they beat them so uh, I w I'm just uh, curious I'm just really curious about that mm -hmm. um, yeah. anything to add there no uh no the next 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 two teams is uh we first. have only one le of two left yeah, 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 yeah. But, but it's for the blue to... and the red side so yeah you... it's the 16th air assault one uh uk based group two i think yep that i nothing know about it's a new team as well we don't like sorry we don't know everybody we will get you some information for the big streams but uh yeah that's uh, right yeah that's uh for the future for now uh yeah, we, we we didn't have enough information, but as the time progresses, we will get more information. We can talk a little bit more about you. And that means that the yep. last gr group is Gruppe V, isn't it? The, la the last is uh, my friends, dear friends from Gruppe V. That's right at the red four. four. Yeah, let's, let's conclude 
basically uh, basically the team uh, the match drawings uh, we did the pr pr predictions already uh, how much we we, we know to this time uh, as as Nick said uh, for the big screen uh, big stream we we try to know more about the team so yeah yeah basically that's all i that's all no. all the teams are uh settled so everybody's happy now all the fuel count is going back to zero <laughs> because everybody knows what who they're fighting that's why they're here um this will be published in the discord and on uh yeah. on the site uh, uh uh officially so you see your name uh, and twitter you, and Twitter, yeah, Lords loves Twittering, so please follow Lord on Twitter, or at least ESM on Twitter, because that's what we love, Twittering. Um, for now, uh, these are the games. Um, these are the games. We are not knowing uh, who, is, uh, who is going to stream which game. We basically have uh, our official stream, that is uh, me and uh, Schmidtler, the ESM stream, that is in English. Then we have a German screen for all our German friends that want to watch in their own language. We have a German stream and we have a French stream uh, by Neil Garfield. Yeah. Um, then we have an extra stream, a barbarian as well. Um, he is from America. He will do it in English, but he's more American based. Let's put it that way. So uh, that's an extra. So we can basically do all the four the games um, and we will be discussing on which game is going to be uh, basically, um, yeah, which, which, which game is going to be where. Which team we follow. Basically. Yeah, it will be uh, announced as well to uh, to you guys uh, which game that is. Um, mm -hmm. You've already seen and them. What does the, uh, the medals, yeah. The, uh, what does the, the, the bracket that does not show, there is a lower bracket, so basically Every team is playing at least two matches. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah, you win two. You play two matches. You still, uh, you still can go for third place, what gives you some extra point. Um, the f number one and number two are really willing to be qualified to go to the pro circuit. That's basically it. Uh, so yeah. if you either end one or end two. Then you go up to the pro circuit and you have more chance to win these medals. Mm, yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, this as well. Uh, normally I have Carviner's uh, uh, MVP award here, but I don't have it here at this moment. Um, so I uh, I hoped that the MVP award was already in our settings, Nicholas. Shh. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck did I do wrong? I did everything. I, oh, beep, Nick, like, beep. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. So, um, that's for a family friendly stream here. You, uh, you have the medals uh, that you can win. The, the new medal design is newer. So, you have basically the middle one that is a little bit looking like the new one. These are the old ones, basically. Um, and uh, the best thing is that you can win the MVP award. So, the number one and the number two of the tournament. So, the team number one and the team number two. Uh, the staff from ESM will decide which of your players uh, deserve the MVP award. Um, the MVP award, I will now transition to it, where you can uh, see how nice it is. Um, it is sent to your home. Uh, it has your name on it. Uh, this one is by Lord. You can see it. It's uh, in his name. It will show which Mastix Cup it is, which where you want it. And uh, yeah. Um, it's even coming in a nice box, I wish, I assume. So uh, you have something to fight for, basically. So and you will be mentioned on the Hall of Fame. You'll see it here, Hall of Fame. You'll see it on the Hall of Fame. Uh, uh, your name as well. So some nice things to fight for, basically. Yeah. Easy is that. That was it. Oh, there we go. Um. There's nothing uh, I I have to tell anymore. I think I think we've uh, we've covered everything, Smitler. Yeah, I think too. So uh, basically, follow uh, follow the Twitter and the website for any information. The cup will start next Saturday on time. Uh, nineteen hundred. Nineteen hundred. Yeah. And nineteen thirty. Nineteen thirty. And you will find uh, every stream link. Uh, in the uh, in the discord and twitter and on the website 
And yeah, any questions, um, follow on Discord, ask everybody, ask uh, the ESM stuff, the th things you want to know. Maybe getting ready for the next cup. Um, and yeah. If, if you ever, uh, if you're going to do a friendly match this week, I'm, I'm just going to shout it out. Tag ESM casters in the Discord and say that you're going to play a friendly match. Because if you want yeah. to be casted, we are lovely to cast you, basically. And it's not that we're going to tell everything that you're doing wrong. We like to cast. We like to see your tactics. We like to see what you're up to. Um, I can understand that it's not really the smartest thing to do because your enemies can also ca watch the cast. But still, it has maybe some, some nice insights. Um, yeah. That only leaves me telling you all good luck to uh, the ESM tournament of May. Uh, don't forget to uh, put your players into your profile on the ESM website. If you don't do that, then uh, you can't play. You will be disqualified. So please, 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 for the love of sake, don't cut yourself in your own fingers and fix your players on the website. Put their mm -hmm. gamer tag yeah. in and their... Uh, game ID, uh, so you can play and win this wonderful medal and win this wonderful MVP award. Anything else? No, that's all for me. See you next week. See you next week. Goodbye.